ready to go ahead and dive into this? Let's jump in. Let's let's yeah. jump on in. Yeah, I was actually um I just mentioned uh Chris Salcedo and um the Houston show started off with the same topic we started on. I actually called into a show. I talked to Chris for about uh five minutes about this topic here. Um in case you guys don't know, I am a veteran of the Navy. And this story that we're gonna be talking about here, this you wouldn't even be in the Navy back in my day. I went into the Navy in uh two thousand to 2004 nobody was ever talking about drag queens it never came up and if i was to tell you back in 2000 that hey hey, the navy is going to be using drag queens to help with recruiting because they're not hitting the numbers you would have thought that i was lying right i'm glad you found this topic because i was bringing it with me if you hadn't this morning Okay. Because I saw it come across the TV and I was like, wait, what? <laughs> what are we yeah. talking about here? We're doing what? Yeah, this Navy? is a real thing, man. This is a real thing. Unfortunately, um, it is a real thing. But um, let's go ahead and look at this. Because this is shocking right here. We already knew that the military was going woke. Because remember, remember the um the the ads that um that the army was putting out, they were promoting the two moms and all that other stuff, and then there was actually oh, yeah. a comparison it, with uh, China and Russia. And that ad was playing regularly. I was seeing that ad regularly on TV. Yeah, with it was like a cartoon with the two moms, and one of them goes, I think, in the military. And there's a bunch of rainbows and stuff on the screen, and um, it it was ridiculous. I we'll we'll get to what I think about this, and and one of the one of the 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 fallouts involving this that we're going to have a serious problem with. Yeah. Uh, but let's let's go into the story, and then we can get to that. Okay. Right here on the post millennial U.S. Navy enlists drag queen influencer to attract wide range of troops amid recruitment drop. Now, Rhodes, the Navy can't recruit people. Why? It be- it's because I believe that they're trying to over the past few years or so trying to pander to left wing people that don't like the military. They hate our country. I yeah. mean, who the hell who the hell are you pandering to yeah. exactly on that side of the aisle? They hate that they hate our country. They hate our flag. I mean Th- this really? is a big mistake here by the military. Big mistake by the Navy. What American loving patriot are you actually gonna get to to recruit with a drag queen? And this person that they're using is actually in the Navy already. Yeah. This is a real thing right here. Mm. Let's read it. It's baffling. Yeah. The United States Navy has enlisted a drag queen influencer in an attempt to appeal to a wider range of potential troops. Um, Sailors. I'm going to correct uh, post millennial. This is just a Navy guy. Me. We're not troops. Okay. We're sailors. Anyway, as recruitment continues to drop throughout all branches of the U S military, the drag queen, Harpy Daniels, who is an active duty sailor uh, named Yeoman Second Class Joshua Kelly, announced in November that the U.S. Navy asked him to become the first, quote, Navy digital ambassador. Whose goals are to attract the most talented and diverse workforce to the military branch, according to the Daily Caller. That's actually a video. I'm not even going to play that. I don't even want to see it, man. <laughs> um, in his first post, as a oh, quote, no, 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 no. Let's we, play it. I mean, let's it. play it. Oh, Let, no, we've got to see how how awful this is. As long as they don't, yeah, let's play it. Oh boy, okay. It, and there, there's an ad right here. So I can't believe Rose is going to make me actually play this. Let's see here. Let me turn up the volume too, I guess. It's rolling around the bed. 
Oh, and there's probably some music there, so I'm going uh, to just mute it. Yeah. Okay. This Navy sailor is also a drag queen. Media was released on international platforms. Now, this is on the, this looks like this is on the mess debts where people eat right here. He's in full drag doing splits. Oh, my God. This is. Since I've uh, <laughs> grown not just as a drag queen, but leader. In the, oh, my God. Being the representative of people who were oppressed for years, haven't tried being, many have tried uh, bringing me down. Many have tried to silence me. Now, 2022, the Navy has invited me to be the first Navy digital ambassador. Rose, this is a disgrace to, oh. the, to the uniform. Wow. I, I'm I'm just I'm just baffled. And I just brought up uh the last couple of days there was a map that came out that showed the people that were enlisting into the armed services and it's it's overwhelmingly red states that that, that our enlistments are coming from. Yeah. And um uh, I don't know if you're are you gonna read the rest of the article because uh, there's a buy there. There's going to be a fallout around this, and I'm going to tell you what the fallout is. Do you have any idea how weak this makes us look to our adversaries? Exactly. Let, this, let me tell you something, man. As a Navy veteran, and I told Chris Salcedo this when I was in, man, the Navy was very, very masculine. I mean. If you actually did this on a ship back when I was in, boy, oh, the guys on oh. a ship would have crushed you. Oh, they would have crushed you. I'm dead serious. I was on a destroyer. Now, we actually did have women on um, my ship, but not that many uh, compared to the rest of um, the rest of the ship. You would get crushed if you did this. And I mean bit time. Because every so, single day, man, from junior sailors all the way up to uh, senior enlisted to officers, they came hard, came down hard on everybody. They're pandering to snowflakes that can't accept criticism. That person ain't going to make it in the Navy, man. They're leaving us so, so open when it comes to a conflict later, do you really believe that Vladimir Putin and Xi Jinping doesn't see this and just smile? They, they got to be they, loving they, this. They're relishing in this. Look at America. Weak. Pansy ass. I mean, they're, they're, they're recruiting these men that want to be women into their military. Their military is weak. And this leaves them open right. to attack. It it does. This leaves us open. I mean, think and of this, Rose. It's look what Russian extremely dangerous to our country. It look, is look our what national Russian media security. Did. Look what Russian media did when Joe Biden traded for Brittany Griner. They were mocking us. They said that um, the United States they 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 wanted the drug dealer back instead of the other guy. They mocked us for that. Yeah, they, Russian they, television. They laughed because they was like America wanted the 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 lesbian back. They just come out and said it. Yeah, they did. The, the, they want they wanted the the lesbian back that checked all the woke boxes. I think Russia actually used the word woke in their in their commentary that checked all of America's propagandist woke boxes. Vladimir Putin made a comment about where America is going far as the lifestyles that America is condoning. And, you know, I'm, look, I'm not pro-Russian. 
I'm not. I'm not pro-Russia. But when Putin recognizes, hey, you're pandering to a bunch of drug addicts in your country, a bunch of weak-minded people in your country, they're leaving us so open to attack, to take over. Xi Jinping is relishing in this. He loves every single minute of it. He's yeah. like, if we, if we attack them, America is not going to be able to withstand our forces. They're continuing to train in the manner that they have always trained in places like Russia and places like China. And they see this. They see a dude dressing up as a lady to try to recruit in who exactly? Nobody. Who exactly? But Somebody that's going to wor be worried about breaking a nail when they have to pull a trigger? The thing I is, mean, though, he's been doing this. I'm talking about this um, wine to uh, Kelly. Been doing this for a while. And guess what? The recruiting numbers are still down. I don't know who they think they're actually going to get by doing this. I mean, when, well, I, when I was in, guess what? When I was going into the Navy, guess what I saw? The slogan was, because they change it all the time, let the journey begin. You actually saw a battle group sailing across the ocean. They had David Robinson, the NBA Hall of Famer, yep. in his uniform, yep. promoting yep. the Navy. Yep. And now, this is what you, this doesn't make sense. I mean, you expect this to get people don't go into the Navy for this. This is not going to get anybody to go in. Nobody. We, we desperately need to see. And I don't know how you feel about this. I'm in Texas. I certainly do not want anything resembling a state income tax. I do not. It's yeah. one of the greatest things about living in a state like this or like in Florida. But I, I will tell you this. Would I support helping fund some kind of a military, state-based military program? Absolutely, I would. Because I'm, I'm starting to believe. But a National that, Guard falls under the, um, the jurisdiction of the governor. Us as red states, we need to recognize the weakness of, that the federal military is starting to show and the leaders. We are so much weaker than when I was in. And we need to start preparing, okay, as if we may be the ones that end up having to defend the citizens, that the, the citizens of the states are going to end up having to be the ones that are yeah. trained. And that and that is all-encompassing. We, we need a, a, a naval fleet. You know, Alabama needs one. Florida needs one. Texas needs one. Mississippi needs one. All of these, all these red states are going to have to come together and do something because this is not re a reflection of my ideals in this country no. and our values and what we represent. This is not. This is weak. You're leaving us open to, to take over. You truly are by promoting this kind of thing. We look terrible. And what this also does is this turns off the true men and women that are patriotic. This turns them away from our yeah. military. Yeah. You guys want to know. I'm not joining that freak show. I'm not joining that. Guys, that doesn't wanna... represent my ideals anymore. Yeah. You, you guys want to know the Navy core values? Every sailor knows the Navy Corps values, honor, courage, commitment. This is not representing honor, courage and commitment at all. Look at this. Okay. Harpy Daniels was one of five sailors, five sailors selected in October 2022 to participate in the program, which ended in April 2023. And now the Navy is weighing options on whether uh, to keep it running or disband it entirely. A Navy spokesperson told the Daily Caller that the Digital Ambassador Initiative was designed to explore the digital environment uh, to which a wide range of potential candidates. The Navy did not compensate Wine to Kelly or any others for being Navy digital ambassadors. 
uh, the spokesperson said. Five active duty uh, personnel participated and no promotional or recruiting materials existed. Now, here's the problem, man. We just watched that video, right? Yep. Where was that video uh, posted to? It was on Chinese TikTok, wasn't TikTok. it? Yeah. Chinese yeah. TikTok. You see the problem, guys? What the hell is the Navy doing on TikTok? <laughs> on, on Chinese TikTok. What is our Navy doing on there to begin with? <laughs> yeah. Now, um, why and two Kelly identifies as non-binary? Now, on a Navy ship, guess I what? Know, I don't even know what that means. Guess what? When it comes to birthing areas, there's male and female birthing. There is no non-binary. He is definitely in the male birthing area. It is what it is right there. Just saying. I, I, I'm very, very disturbed by this. Uh, As a veteran, um, I am ashamed of the Navy for this. I'm definitely ashamed. I worry about our future. Okay. Again, yeah. I mean, we're, we're seeing our adversaries talking to each other now. Yeah. I mean, Putin and Xi Jinping are hooking up. They're, they're having set downs these days. Do we really believe that they're sitting in a room behind closed doors and they're seeing this and they're not laughing at us? Of course they're laughing at us. America is weak. See, but this is, this is the consequences. Right. This is the consequences here of having weak leadership from the top. The commander in chief should be able to put a stop to this. But we know that's not going to happen. Not under this guy. He's a puppet. He's a puppet for the yeah. radical left. Of course, he's not going to stop it. Yeah. Hey,